Exhausted. It's only like, what time is it? It's like only 8.40 and I'm like falling asleep right here trying to make video. <sighs> why does that happen? Like why does that happen when you want to make a video and it's like, no, not gonna happen. Should have made it earlier. Dang it. Anyway, um... I don't know where I was going with this. Other than I'm yawning. Oh. I recently tried something really cool, and um, I managed to keep the bottle, because I'm a weirdo. Um, if there's a really cool label on bottle, I want to keep it. Um, I have a few more bottles over there. Uh, nothing too interesting, realistically. Um, one's like an old Brooklyn bottle, it has like Brooklyn on it, and um, the other one is just a Mountain Dew bottle. I'm a Mountain Dew fanatic, I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Uh, but yeah, I've, I'm a Mountain Dew fanatic, so there's a lot of Mountain Dew related things, like, ah, Mountain Dew related, Mountain Dew Code Red, um, in my areas, because I did stuff with them and other stuff, but this has nothing to do with the other so nah. um, I recently tried this thing called the, the Flying Cauldrons, um, Butter Scotch Beer, which tastes like butter beer, and it's got a really cool label. Um, my coworker found it at Whole Foods. But see, what gave it away that was kind of Harry Potterish to me is the broom. I don't know if you guys can see the broom right there, flying cauldron. Um, but what's interesting is it doesn't say it's butter beer or it's Harry Potter related, but it has that font. And I'm figuring people that know more about this would be able to tell me, but it's pretty much. 100% natural, gluten-free, so that's probably like the biggest plus part um, that people on Instagram were like thumbing up and stuff. They were like, I'm running to Whole Foods. Oh yeah, I use a stevia. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, Whole Foods has something that kind of tastes reminiscent to butterbeer, or at least it's reminiscent to me. I mean, you let me know down in the comments below if you disagree with me. That's totally cool. Every Another thing that I found was my wreck this journal. It's been a little bit since I've done some pages in this and yesterday just seemed kind of appropriate because I was at a loss at for what to create and I was just kind of like out of my loop, out of my element. Um, it was kind of crazy so I just figured, so I found this guy and I said you know what, fuck it, let's do it. Uh, to be quite honest, I have no idea kind of what I drew or colored. Uh, it was just out of here. I have no idea what I colored or I drew, but I like it. It's kind of cool. And it was just kind of going with the flow of it all. But I might do that over the weekend a lot more, considering I found this again and I forgot I had this. And it's kind of fun. Just as much fun as that coloring book that I told you guys about. And I can't seem to find right now my Animal Kingdom book. But that's another fun one. Um, both of them are really awesome. I did a review on that and I'll leave some link somewhere if you're interested in that one. But that one was really awesome in terms of like just getting lost in coloring and turning on some music. And speaking of music, I'm kind of excited. We have a rock station again. I'll be talking more about that though on Wednesday. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing awesome and I'm doing great. I'm just really exhausted and I cannot wait to just like, I don't know, just vegetate, flop down, you know what I mean. Anyway, bye. Whatever it is that you believe you're seeing, it's not, 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 not real. I've seen things before they happen. Things are not always what they seem in this place. So, you can't take anything for granted. This, uh, you keep saying, uh, like a moron. Uh, uh, <laughs> now you're gonna make yourself laugh every time you say, uh.